These kids have had friends who have been killed or who will be killed. Living in Oakland, I've lived around gunshots, drug dealings, prostitution. There are kids doing drugs in the classrooms, selling drugs in the hallway. How do you not, as a young black man, get killed in East Oakland? Just by the main nature of being a black young man in Oakland increases the profound risk of you getting shot for no reason at all. I'm sick and tired of seeing kids get killed. I want to be a psychologist. Nurse, pediatric. Radiology. Animal sciences. OK, got to go teach class. Five minutes, let's go. FACES is based here at the hospital that is designed primarily to address the issues of adolescent health. These were kids from the inner cities who are trying to deal with some huge issues in their lives. These are kids who have a, a dream to be in the healthcare field. And then we show them the possibilities. You know, these kids are in the OR, the operating room, they're in anesthesia, they're in social work, they're in many, many, many different things in areas that most medical students don't even get a chance to look at until their third year. All right. Oh ah! Here you go. Here you go. Thanks. Next table. Be good friends with your pig. He's leaky. That looks like the part that he eats. Because you know people eat this. I'm going to put it in vinegar and I'm going to sell each one for a buck. Okay, you're going to pull the bone because it's not the You need a needle. I said it was thin. I came from the same background, very similar background these kids came from. You know? I am, I am a walking model of what possibilities are by the mere fact that I was able to become a physician. Take it home. Take it home. This is what we're going to have for dinner. Let's go. They'll start fighting over it too. We have one honest young man here who's come to the inclusion that he realizes he doesn't know what the heck he's doing. Let's give him a half. Don't tell me that's the the first step to success. So you're going to be very successful. Because you're making a lot of mistakes. <laughs> that is phenomenal. Do you know if anybody else got in? No, I'm the only one. That you're the only one in the group who got in. I told you I always wanted to go to Stanford. I know. And this is the beginning of that. All right, good. Congratulations. That's wonderful, sweet. Oh, that's so great. They are fighting for success. Um, did they like, was the cancer bad enough that it had to be immediate um, <laughs> surgery or? They are fighting to overcome the obstacle, the multitude of obstacles which are in their lives, whether it be family, poverty, violence, whatever. I was brought here when I was three from Mexico. And since then we haven't been able to resolve or become legal. When it came time to applying to college and looking at the numbers and how much it was going to cost me and my family, it was like, oh my god, this is an obstacle. So Perla, this is the visit for Brianna where she actually meets the exercise physiologist. The FACES program really helped me explore and really determine that my passion is in pediatric care. Is there any program, like a dance program that you can do maybe? They know Each student happens. participates in clinical rotation. So what they do is they work one-on-one -on -one with the clinical supervisor in, in, in different departments of the hospital. I have one question. Yeah. I noticed her um, BMI. I was just wondering what were the norms like based on her age and her gender. I know what my dream is and I know that for my family, since I am the first to even make it this far in my education, it'll be a great honor to make it to that dream and that's my motivation. That and my siblings there to follow. I'm the oldest of four. So I want for them to have a high standard. Well, it all started back in 10th grade where uh, my teacher referred me and he told me, oh, you should do it. It'd be a great opportunity for you to learn. And my family's not here anymore. And I'm staying over at my, at my friend's house sometimes. I'm staying over at my, cousin, my, uh, my uncle's house. And it's, it's hard for me, especially because I don't have that much support, you know? All right, and then just go ahead and do overhand throws. Yeah. And then, all right. Faces opened a lot of doors for me. It forces you to raise your level of maturity because, you know, there's deadlines and there's um, all these assignments that you have to turn in and, and not be a little kid anymore. You know, you have to take responsibility if you really want to be in the program. You should be able to get a right angle from, this is awesome. Are you still stretching it? You see what happens to them, 100% of our kids go to college. But overwhelmingly, they all say that we had a huge part, 
huge part of that transformation. So it works. Don't let your chest fall. I couldn't believe that, you know, I got into a college of my choice. I just started thinking, you know, well, not everything is so hard to get to. I mean, it, you just have to try. Ropes course. It's an opportunity for kids to get out of the urban jungle, so to say, and go out into nature and be challenged with activities that promote leadership and trust. Whitewater rafting is just another level of confidence building. We break down the barriers between the schools. We break down the barriers between the cliques because the activities challenge these kids to kind of put your safety in the hands of others. They do it because they're encouraged by their peers. And they're doing it because they believe that they can make it. So it essentially models what we're trying to get them to believe here in the hospital. Real big, say, like, ah. ah. Oh, there you go. I'm sort of the golden ticket is what everybody calls me. I sign up for all the programs. So it's a lot of juggling back and forth, multitasking, doing, one, doing two or three things at once. You see inside his nose, it's kind of pale. It's White. Being here, I've seen kids that are currently using drugs, that are um, trying to get help, and it's helped me sort of realize that that's not the way I want to go. You know, that, the registry mm -hmm. you run that, so then they won't pull. Fortunately, I see a lot of teenagers now that are kind of disappointed in the world or the issues that they face today, and you know, he seems to still have that spark and be inspired to want to achieve and do better and help someone else. <laughs> Brown, Stanford, Cal. That's really where I'm looking at now. I consider myself very lucky. This is very I hope you will do good. Of course, I mean, I'm not gonna do bad. I'm not gonna let you down. How are you? Great <laughs> year. <laughs> The 16 that graduated, we're especially proud of because they graduated at a time where adolescent health rates really got bad. And the city of Oakland experienced more homicides, more sexual assaults, more violence this past year than I have seen in the 21 years I've been at Children's Hospital. This will be our fourth graduating class. 100% will be sending off to college next year. Faces for the Future came about. We are so proud. It's the first daughter in, in my house to be, uh, uh, to graduate this year. It's after a hard year, it's just seen some hard stuff to see these kids publicly announce how they're going to change the world and how they're going to make a difference. You know, my, our work's done, you know? That gives me hope for the future. People have such a negative image of kids, and this is proof that they're not. They're these incredibly resilient, resourceful, intelligent, artistic human beings that we all wish we were like. Can we...